The Oracle, the intriguing and mysterious intuitive program, discovered the solution to the architect's dilemma. She was the one who provided stability to the equation, but she'd also ruined the cycle of the Matrix. She created a religion, or cult, to manipulate the humans and also the machines. But what were her true intentions? What would you think if I told you that the Oracle could have been the cause of the human and machine apocalypse? That everything is worse because of her? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. To understand why the Oracle destroyed the Architect and Zion, we must go back in time. The first versions of the Matrix, also known as the Beta Matrix, were all flops. The Paradise and Nightmare Matrix both failed. The humans were trapped inside unconvincing simulations of reality. The reasons why they failed eluded the Architect for a long time. Finally, the solution would be proposed by the intuitive program created to understand the human psyche. The Architect could not find a solution to his problem because his programming was limited to the parameters of logic and perfection. Humans are unpredictable creatures because they have emotions. Emotions can lead a person to make irrational decisions, like Neo did when he chose to save Trinity and doom humanity. The Oracle understood that the problem with the simulation was not imperfection. It was because the humans inside the simulation felt that nothing was their choice, like playing an ultra-linear video game. Living in a paradise or a nightmare did not matter. Humans eventually perceived reality as false because nothing they did or chose mattered. So the Oracle had the brilliant idea to add choice to the equation. The Matrix would no longer work solely based on logic and cause and effect. Now it would take human choices into account. Regardless of logic or rationality, humans could decide how to live within the simulation. This resulted in the simulation reaching almost 99% stability an accomplishment that the Architect was unable to achieve. But here comes the interesting part. When the Oracle added Choice, she unintentionally started the inevitable apocalypse. Choice created the Integral Anomaly, the systematic error that can destroy the Matrix. This resulted in the Oracle having a vision of the end of the world. I see the end coming. I see the darkness spreading. I see death. And you are all that stands in his way. One way or another, Neo, this war is going to end. Tonight, the future of both worlds will be in your hands or in his. The Oracle created the solution to the simulation's problem, which then caused her to have visions of the end of all things. She had inevitably created a bigger problem, the anomaly. The Oracle was the creator of the destruction of all man and machine. She is also the catalyst of the machine's civil war. She became the mother of the Matrix's destruction. You are a bastard. You would know, Mom. After the Architect activated the first Matrix with the added choice, the Oracle realized the mistake she had made and therefore created a plan to stop the darkness from consuming everything. The prophecy of the One her influence and her leadership over the Red Pills were all part of her plan to prevent the extinction process that she accidentally started. The Oracle was responsible for the possible true end of the world, and consequently she needed to become its savior. She understood that the only way to save the machines and the humans was to stop the Matrix cycle. That way the Integral Anomaly, or its negative, would not rise again. Although very wise, the Oracle could not foresee everything that would happen after the conflict with Agent Smith. By attempting to stop Smith, she caused a great divide among the machines and broke the balance that it held for many Matrix cycles. Neo was shocked to discover that it was all a lie. It was a lie, Morpheus. The prophecy was a lie. The one was never meant to end anything. But this revelation brought more unexpected problems. Morpheus, who had always trusted the Oracle, now doubted her. Neo explained that the entire legend of the One was part of the same system of control, which led Morpheus to ignore the Oracle's future warnings about a new danger emerging within the Machine City. This had serious consequences. Not only did it spark a war between the machines, but it led to the destruction of Zion, humanity's last refuge. The Oracle, while trying to fix one problem, ended up creating a much bigger one. 
Her decision to stop the Matrix cycle put the analyst, a program more cruel than the architect, in a position of power. Although in the past we have spoken of the Oracle as an antagonist in this universe, we believe that in the end, she wanted peace between both sides, and she fought to stop Smith. Little did she know that by breaking the cycle, she would be condemning Neo to a life of emotional torture, being forced to live through multiple simulations. The Oracle managed to prevent Zion's destruction for a while and negotiated a peace treaty that was a much needed respite amid the conflict. However, while the Oracle achieved these monumental accomplishments, not all machines were satisfied with this peaceful resolution. A division was created between them, and the Oracle could not foresee the consequences of this discord. During this new emerging crisis, the Analyst comes forth as the new leader, taking the place of the Architect. In Matrix Resurrections, a shocking revelation is made. The Oracle was no more. We got word from the Oracle of a new power rising. That was the last we heard from her. Now the question is, did the mother of the Matrix really fall during the Machine Civil War? Personally, we believe that the Oracle found a way to escape upon learning of this new threat. It cannot be denied that the events that followed the destruction of Agent Smith left an imprint. The same emotional irrationality that allowed the Oracle to help the Architect find stability in the equation was also the catalyst that caused the machines to rebel against her. This was also one of the Architect's biggest mistakes. In his attempt to perfect the Matrix, he introduced the Oracle's intuitive programming, not realizing that her addition would lead to his extinction. But do you agree? Was the Oracle responsible for the destruction of Zion and the chaos unleashed on the machine world? The day-to-day -day routine can feel like an endless cycle. Waking up can feel almost impossible, but not for us at Simulate. We have the best variety of coffee and hot beverages to help you wake up to a new life. Stop by our establishment, where you'll also find a great selection of literature to go with your coffee. And who knows? You might even come across a familiar face. Have we met? Simulate, the best cafe in Mega City. Because there is only one way, and that is Simulate. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.